Hi everybody! So as we know, April was Autism Awareness slash Acceptance slash Appreciation Month. So if you've been following my Instagram stories, I was doing a series on what I love about being autistic and one thing for every 30 days of April. So I decided to put them all on YouTube just because I wanted to. So you guys enjoy. First one is that I see the world in a different way than other people. Uh, have different perspective on life and myself. Day two, what I love about being autistic, hyper-focus. I, as soon as I find a special interest, I can hyper-focus on anything that I want to do around that for like five hours, and I just go for it. It's great. Day three, what I love about being autistic, stimming. I, okay, so yesterday, I brought, I got my stim toy, and I just squeezed it, and I felt so much joy. I was like, what other, like, what neurotypical person can enjoy this as much as me because of my different sensory system like I can enjoy this the way no other non-autistic people can. I love stimming. Day four what I love about being autistic is how much more open-minded I am about diversity and being autistic and learning what neurodiversity means has made me open to all kinds of diversity and having a more um, educated worldview about what diversity means in the world and what different um, divergent types of people can contribute to society and life in general. So I love that. Day five, what I love about being autistic is being introverted because when it's a time like this, when everyone has to stay indoors, I am living the dream. Day six. Um, I can see the small details of something instead of the big picture, and I can pick and choose which details I want to experience. So, for example, if I'm at, and then <laughs> just say, oh, wow, that was a great party because of those three things that I enjoyed. So that's what it means when we see details and not big picture, and it can work to our benefit to see this one person, there's excellent food, and the music snaps, then I can just focus on those small details and walk away, no matter what other big stuff was happening that made me not enjoy myself, I can ignore them. I'm at a party and I'm not enjoying myself. I don't want to go to a party. Please don't let anyone near me. Um, I might be not enjoying myself as a whole, but then if I focus on little details and say, okay, this is really nice. Day seven, uh, I have a brain difference, and so because my brain works differently, I know when to take steps to maintain my emotional health, and I don't feel bad for resting, and so I am never feeling guilty because I should be doing stuff, because I know how my brain works and I can accept how I am different in that way and give myself more grace. Day eight, uh, same foods which are, you can eat the same foods, because I, I don't get tired of them. Mac and cheese, grilled cheese, cheese quesadillas, cheese enchiladas. I could eat that for dinner every single day, and I would never get tired of it. Day nine. <laughs> um, it takes very few small things to make me happy. Because autistics uh, regulate emotion differently, we can have like really strong emotions. And so I can just be walking around outside just like meh and see a cat and just immediately I am like the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> Day 10. I love to be alone, so I'm never lonely. Day 11. I am very honest um, because it takes a lot of effort to communicate with other people. I am very direct and I say exactly what it is that I want to say to try and make sure that there's no confusion. Although there does end up being confusion, you can always count on me to be honest. Day 12. I don't get competitive. I don't know why, but I feel like it's a neurotypical thing to like be competitive. And so any kind of competition I'm in, I'm just like, I don't care if I win or lose. I don't care what happens. Just like, I'm just having fun. I'm just in my own world doing my own thing. For day 13, I don't give in to peer pressure. It's never been an issue for me. I kind of just am in my own world and don't really realize the like social stuff 
about peer pressure and so it doesn't really affect me. I probably didn't explain that well, but. And for today, day 14, when you're autistic, you know who your real friends are and they stick by you. Um, because it's it takes work to actually be friends with people. And if you're looking for just like an easy acquaintance, like <laughs> we don't we don't do that. We go we go deep, we are completely honest, we say straight up what we want. If we like you, we like you. If you don't, we don't. It's day 15, I can concentrate really well. Part of hyperfocus is concentration. And so I can just like be completely immersed in one thing that I'm doing and not have to worry about everything else that's going on. Of course, when my ADD lets me, sometimes it says no. What I love about being autistic, day 16, happy birthday to me. I don't outgrow things. I have a kitchen table decorated with frozen paper plates and decorations for my birthday today because I never outgrew Disney. Day 18, I am really good at organizing because of the way that my brain processes things. I can organize really well, really quickly, and really efficiently. Day 19 would be my visual memory and um, visual imagination. I can see things when I try to bring them to memory exactly how they are. Not like an eidetic memory, or not exactly even like a photographic memory, like I can't just look at a page and then go back and reread the words in my head, but I can watch movies and then memorize them and then watch them in my head. Not everyone can do that, but uh, my visual memory is I've been told probably better than others by the way that I can remember things. Day 20, um, also to do with memory, I have a great long-term memory. And so I, I actually, I sometimes, like we, we remember if, uh, autistics have like event-based memory a lot. And so I will remember specific times in my life based on what hair color I had at that time and what kind of clothes I was wearing at that time. It's really interesting. But I, I, like, remember all the names of my sister's friends who were, like, in pictures at her birthday party. And she was like, I don't even remember these people. How do you know my friends' names from, like, elementary school? Day 21 is because of how we learn. Autistics learn very interesting ways. I have a style called kinesthetic learning. And it's through, like, sensory-based touch. It's just really interesting how different people have different learning styles. For day 22, 22, I hope, I hope so, is we enjoy repetition. And so for me, this means I can listen to the same music, watch the same movies, uh, like do the same things over and over and over again and not get tired of it. So I get just as much joy out of watching my favorite movie for the 10th time, for the 20th time, for the 30th time as I did for the first. Day 23 is that I function best in a clean environment, and so I'm a very tidy person. So the good part of that is that I have become a, I have become a little bit of a neat freak, but my room is always clean. Uh, I'm never frustrated because things are disorganized anymore, and so that's a good thing. <laughs> Day 24 is our autistic community. I love you guys all so much. You have no idea. <laughs> you're so supportive. You are kind. You're funny. You're non judgmental. You're genuine. And I love our community so much. Day 25, what I love about being autistic is what we call mind blindness that we can't really know, we can't interpret what other people are thinking or what they're intending. Um, a lot of the time and that can be bad, but also it can be good because if people are being rude to you, then I don't notice at all and it doesn't affect me. Day 26 is sensory emotions. Um, it's hard to describe, but basically I have a like sensory reaction to a lot of emotions or an emotional reaction to sensory things. And so that can be really great sometimes, uh, and which is why a lot of autistics seem like we're happy like a child in a way that we like express it through jumping up and down and flapping and stuff like that. 
And that's because of our sensory and emotional interlinked um, experience. So it's pretty cool. Day 27. Uh, when girls are trying to figure out how to socialize, when autistic girls try to figure out how to socialize, um, we watch a lot of fiction, read a lot of fiction, and copy those behaviors. And that interest in fiction made me want to be a writer. And I went to college for English major, um, and I'm a writer. So what I like about being autistic for day 28 is that I can recognize patterns, and it's actually really fun. <laughs> day 29 is that it's kind of punk, like we go against societal norms and we're like we're very subversive um in terms of like we 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 um we avoid what society says that we should be doing and stuff and we kind of just do our own thing day 30 the last thing that i love about being autistic is that it's made me who i am and i love to be myself and I didn't think I would get to this point in my life ever where I was happy being myself, but I, 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 I am. I totally am.